three, two, one. Track the bump, roll it. Satin C, track C, continue, roll it. The cold weather and, and go your look. Winter means you want to make sure your vehicle is in top shape. And lose it. A few it. things you should keep in mind this winter season. And roll the bump. Where local news comes first. Stand by, Cam this 2, Brian. News at six. Mike Brian. And cue please. Good evening, I'm Brian Kaufman. Thank you so much for joining us. We start with new details tonight on a crash that Roll ejected two people Friday on Remount Road in and Warren County. Continue. State police nice. say the driver, 21-year-old Jacqueline Meta martinez continue, and the passenger, 27-year-old Roger Figueroa, were not wearing seatbelts at the time. Police confirmed right, a month and a half old two next. was not secured properly in the car seat. The passenger and the baby were ejected from the vehicle and taken to Inova Hospital. The baby has been treated and released. The driver was not Track ejected the from bump. the car and was taken to Winchester Medical Center and charged with reckless driving and failure to secure a child in child restraints. The cause of the Roll crash it. is still being investigated. Stand by Brian on cam. Also making and news continue, now, please. a family of five is getting help from the Red Cross tonight following Stand a by fire in their and home early this morning. It happened and here continue. on North Frederick Pike near Gainesboro around 6 a.m. The Red Cross says a wood stove fire damaged the house so badly All right, we're gonna go that to the camp family two next. has to stay camp elsewhere. Center, Brian. That's why the Red Cross is helping them with food, clother, clothing, and shelter this evening as they work to recover. Peace elsewhere, up. two men and two women are dead following a train derailment in New York City yesterday. Right. Investigators Theo are next. looking into the speed of the train as a possible factor in the crash that sent the cars off the tracks. We've just learned that the train was going 82 miles per hour as and it broke a 30 mile per hour zone. Crews are bringing in cranes to right the overturned cars on the slide. All right, track C for a shot. Stand by your shot. The crash has injured more than 60 people. Now survivors are sharing what it was like to be in the chaos. And roll it. I had my phone in my hand and I realized it and I immediately was like, I'm going to need Stand by, came on Brian. Now Q, I'm going, going to need this too. This too. And he's up. The National Transportation Safety Board says they will be examining the train's data recorders. To All right, find we're going to bump the two shot. Amtrak You'll uh, pull the same out the two shot under the bump, please. Service between New York City and Albany, New York, but it says track this and roll it. Turning now to Let's weather see, and Drew. Lock that down, please. How's it feeling out there today? You know, it's kind of gloomy out there. We're waiting some rain. Right, Standby weather full. Get it out there right now. We're comfortable as could be. We're weather in the 50s full. to the 60s across the Drew. region right now. Sky Tracker 3 along with satellite uh, will show you a clean scan around the region. The rain we're waiting for is right, off to our two, south and west. We'll Brian, track that for you in Maine weather. Also coming up, we'll have that seven-day forecast and talk about which All right, day 15 is better to this weekend. It's kind of the 50-50 toss-up, the details in just a few minutes. All right, Track bump roll. Drew. In Warren County, there have been a and number continue. of coyote sightings, and folks continue to hunt them in order Stand to keep the population down. There have been 70 complaints so far package. this year alone, and folks say they expect the county to pay even more coyote bounties before the year is up. And roll it. So coyotes have become a problem. We we shoot them. We've gotten, as a, and go as a hunt your club, lower. we've gotten three so far. David Siegford has personally right, gotten by, $50 to a head for two coyotes this hunting season and says he hears the animals on a weekly basis. And change. And lose it. The bounty is in place because coyotes are considered a nuisance animal, meaning they pose a threat to livestock. Siegfried says it makes him feel better knowing he can protect his a little less than a minute remaining package from potential harm if he has to. But most of the time when he gets a coyote, it's while hunting deer. I noticed everything left. We're going to cam one next out of this, and we'll turn him to cam two, box left for the OTS. So he will tag on one and then turn to two for the Something OTS. Something animal control deputy Laura Gomez has heard a lot this year. Same by Laura. Complaints have been people calling in saying, I've seen a coyote, you know, Go what lower. you do, things of that nature. Um, and the 37 are take actually it up, complaints that people have brought them in and checked them in for the bounty. She says it's mostly farm right. owners and they Stand always by, Brian. get more calls during hunting season. They may go out if someone has... Now Q is a sot. They are out hunting you know, themselves. Have, we'll go to cam one and we'll turn to cam two for the OTS. Um, we'll go ahead and take that OTS. They go out after horses and larger cattle. Um, that's not to say that they wouldn't if food was scarce. She says they've had reports of livestock hunting killed, themselves. but whether or not they were killed by coyotes or domesticated dogs, she can't say. They're pretty clever creatures, um, and they are. They're going to stay where they're not seen as much. They're out hunting themselves. Mike him, and he's up. Gomez says, if you see a coyote, see it doesn't mean they have rabies, but you should not go near it. Make sure you bring small pets in at Pain night. Pain left to touch on two, please. There have not been reports Other way. of coyotes Other in the town Thank limits you. of Front Royal. If you do kill a coyote, you must check it in within 72 hours at the Warren County Sheriff's Office to be paid that $50 bounty. And turn it. And today Thank marks you. the first official week of December in an appropriate fashion. 
as those temperatures we were just talking about will be reaching the right, mid-30s camp tonight. And those cold temperatures mean crews are getting ready to start winter road maintenance. Dan. TV3's Dan Grossman is live in the studio. Dan, how will this affect your car? Mike him. He's up. So far this year, we've got... All right, package and C, track C. Depending on how you look at it, when it comes Bruce to the snow, but that hasn't stopped crews from Thank already you. coming through and salting roads around Winchester. While the work keeps us safe, it does take a toll on our vehicles. Roll it. Ah, road salt. It's something that bleaches the roads, ruins our shoes, and makes our cars look like they have a bad case of dandruff. But it's also something that keeps us safe. It, it's a, it's All a right, stand by. necessary evil, Go so Clifton. to speak. And, you know, it's one I wish we didn't have to do, but, you know, the, 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 the alternative is not take real it out. great there either. Thank you. That alternative would be to do nothing. As much as road salt is a nuisance, it keeps the roads clear by... All right, about 45 seconds remaining in package. Water. Giving crews can more we tighten up camp three a little bit before they become dangerous? We can't be on every, you know, foot, miles of road at one time. That gives us a window of opportunity that we've got salt down. It keeps this um, snowpack and, or ice from forming and bonding to the road. Road salt will leave this About 25 seconds remaining. Stand by lower from Mike Grill. Car. If gone unattended to, that can cause rust. So your best bet is to bring your car here to the car wash. We start to lower. see more corrosion build up now that the uh, state has went to the liquid salt that they use on the roads like they do up north. So you're starting to see All right, a little more. All right, stand by, Dan. Al you know, a few hundred bucks, a few hundred bucks. We'll come back to Camp 3. after a storm will help minimize that risk Camp of rust. Saving I'm sure there, thank you. Another hassle and saving your wallet a few, a few hundred bucks. bucks. Mike him? He's up. That liquid salt is known as a brine in the state. Yeah, I can't too. using it because of its ease. Pretty much crews will mix hot water and salt until a go and track this for your cheese bomb. And then they will lay that down on the road. So when the water will evaporate, it leaves the salt to do its work. Brian? Mike him? Thank He's you, up. Dan. VDOT also advises drivers right, to use salt in trucks. The room they need to operate as a safety precaution. Track for the bump. Roll the bump. Still ahead on the news and roll C. It's that time of year again. What do you need Semi to do? Semi-weather fool and Drew's mic. Taxes in Frederick County. We'll have that and the latest from your local weather authority. Mike Drew Hewitt. It's quiet right now, but we're tracking some rain on the way. I'll let you know when and where next. All right, lose his mic. We'll go out in five, four, three, two, one.